Now one of the key things and interesting things about microcontroller technology is connecting them via Ethernet, via Wi-Fi. And WizNet have been busy for the last two years creating new boards based on the Raspberry Pi 2040. I'm talking to Victor here to find out more and also learn how we can enter their WizFi competition. Well, it's great to be here at the WizNet stand at Embedded World 2022 talking to you, Victor. Tell me a little bit more about what WizNet does. Hi, Stuart. Welcome to our booth. We, WizNet, are a South Korean company, so we are focusing on internet connectivity solutions. So our unique technology is hardware TCP IP stack, which is aimed to reduce a load on MCU by taking care of TCP IP, TCP IP by hardware, not the software. And I understand that you've been running a contest recently. Why did you decide to have a competition? Yes, actually we finished this last month. And before telling about the contest, so let me tell you about the story of it. All of us know that Raspberry Pi released RP2040 last year, and it's a great chip. It has a PIO, dual cortex, and other cool features. But what it was lacking is a connectivity. So as our WizNet chips are de facto standard for Arduino boards, so we decided to join a Raspberry Pi ecosystem too. So as a result, last November, we released two new boards. Uh, one is WizNet Ethernet Head, and another is W5100 SEVB Pico. So the head is a hardware attached on top, so it can be, it can be stacked on your Pico board and okay. add the connectivity to it. And 5100 SEVB Pico is a Raspberry Pi Pico clone board but with added Ethernet connectivity on it. So in order to promote this board, uh, in December we started a WizNet Ethernet head contest. And it, it had two stages. So first was idea submission stage, and second was uh, final project submission. Fantastic. And uh, in May we announced new win uh, the winners. So the first place went to uh, the great project. Uh, it was called uh, AI-driven uh, 3D printed tracker. Wow, okay. Yeah, so the author wanted to have a remote tracking of his print, 3D printer, mm -hmm. and since he needed a stable connection for it, that's why he used our W5100 SFB Pico. So he added uh, AI and the camera so that he could constantly track with his Telegram application yeah. what his printer is doing. So in my opinion, it's a great project like showing uh, how we need a device to, tr to monitor your another device. Exactly. So another project uh, which got first place uh, is a CAN2 Ethernet gateway. So as you know, CAN, CAN bus is widely used yeah. in various fields like from automobiles and other industry as well. Yeah. So that project is a, like uh, the authors teams they created a like a small device like with an LCD display where you can like transfer your like which is converting from CAN bus to Ethernet. So some really exciting, interesting projects there. Were there any other projects which you thought were really innovative? Yes, actually there is one great project. It's called the WizCube. So it's also just from Greece and Denmark. And as I know, the, those guys never met each other in real life. Okay. But they made a team up online and they brought this project to life. So WizCube is a like 10 by 10 by 10 device, which uh, can be used in various applications, starting from PLC controller for IoT devices. And it's used uh, since it needed also Ethernet connectivity, so that's why they built uh, their device based on our 5100 SAVB Pico. Now, obviously, two years we've been uh, not able to see each other because of Corona, and I'm sure there's lots of innovation being going on at WizNet in the meantime. I understand you have some new Wi-Fi based solutions. Yes, as mentioned before, we at WizNet are working hard to provide a connectivity solution to RP2040 and Raspberry Pi Pico board. So that's why last month we released two new boards. So one is WizFi 360 EVB Pico and second one is W5500 EVB Pico. So both of these boards are Pico clones, but uh, WizFi 360 adds Wi-Fi and W5500 adds wired connectivity. So to tell you briefly about WizFi 360 is our Wi-Fi module which is uh, Microsoft Azure certified and also is included in ARM CMC's uh, PEG driver. So users from developers familiar with that can easily integrate uh, our Wi-Fi module into their project. Actually for this board, uh, we provide a sample code. It's available in our GitHub too. So it's uh, utilizing free RTOS with ARM CMC's drive pack. 
That sounds really exciting. Now, one of the things, of course, that, I, that caught my eye when I came to the stand today was that you're starting another competition to encourage people to take a look at the WISFI board. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, exactly. Actually, it's this contest, this new WISFI 360 contest, uh, is starting this week. Wow, super. Yes, it's the uh, same as previous Ethernet head contest. It will also have two stages. So the first stage will be idea submission stage, where you need to uh, describe your project, what you're going to do, and then we'll ship a free sample. And second stage will last for two months, where all the participants will have uh, the time to complete their development and then to submit their final project. And then by October 17, we'll announce final, pro final winners. Yeah. And the winners will get iPad Pro. And how can people participate? Is it, can they find it on your website? Yes, so to participate is really easy. You, need, you just need to go to our website, maker.wignet.io, and you'll see uh, the huge banner with uh, our contest. And just you need to join our website and you can participate. Now it's great to see new hardware on display at an embedded show, but developers know how important it is to have the software, the tools, the libraries to enable them to get started. Where, where are those uh, from WISNET? How, how do people get started? So for developers who are already familiar with Raspberry Pi Pico board, those will not have any trouble working with our boards because we are, like obviously they are uh, Pico clones. So in general, if let's say if you're working in C environment, you would need a GCC compiler, Visual Studio tools, and then your preferred uh, editor. And, obviously Git, Python, and so on, so on. So if yeah. you're working with CircuitPython, uh, we recommend using uh, Adafruit 5K Ethernet library. Okay. Yeah, we are working closely with them to make it better. Fantastic. And all, we do have our own GitHub repository, so right. we provide all the sample codes. Also, we have a docs website, dot, uh, which you can find at docs.wiznet.io. So we can find all the information like data sheets, how to start guides, Fantastic. and all the manuals there. Great. Now I also understand that there's a, another new product which allows you to uh, connect the serial port of a microcontroller and connect it to Ethernet uh, networks. Yes, since uh, we are doing Ethernet uh, connectivity solutions. So for about 15 years we've been making serial to Ethernet modules. So the the purpose of this model is like, let's say you have an existing device like a power meter or I don't know, a coffee machine, and eventually these days everybody wants to go to cloud and everybody needs a network connectivity. And if you do not want to redesign your board, but all of the MCUs they have a UART or some serial interface, so for these devices uh, it's going to be easy like just to add our uh, small hardware. And in this, in this way, you can easily add even connectivity to your device. Fantastic. Well, it's been really a joy to chat to you, Victor, here at the Embedded World Show and find out what WISNET's been up to. Thanks for the great insights. Yeah, thanks for visiting too.